few clubs have undergone a transformation to match the Harbour Diggers. In 2005 it faced an uncertain future, before an amalgamation with the Mounties group provided new hope. Today it is the embodiment of the 21st century club, an intergenerational hub combining seniors living, childcare and a state-of-the-art club facility. We're pretty proud that we've been able to work our way through an amalgamation process with the diggers and had to have the foresight that something like this could have happened right from the start. What we've tried to do is to bring the community in to be part of the club life. So all aspects of the product that we've put together here from the early learning right through to the club itself and into the retirement Basically bringing that all together and getting that interacting is what intergenerational living is, is all about. I guess the concession that we were given by the then Labor government around being able to have retirement on club property, that opened the door for us. We got to a situation where the doors were closing, then, then uh, Mounties came in and Mounties had a view of what they wanted, where they wanted to go and what we needed to do. Just to see the development that they've got here, this is going to be tremendous for, the, for this particular area. I mean, you probably could not find a better viewing area in the whole of Sydney. Been in the area for such a long time. I've, uh, I joined when I was 18. Those days, it was, it was like a shed. <laughs> and to see it come from that to here is just stunning, it's amazing. To look out to sea and to see the dolphins, the whales, and the building itself, the way it's been positioned and put up is just fantastic. Very, very fortunate to be able to enjoy it for many more years to come, I hope. The brief that we, we got given at the beginning was this um, amazing opportunity to turn this headland into something completely different and just bring it back to life. It was always about a collective. It was always about the people that lived on the other side of the road, the child cares, the learn to swim, the older people that live here have all lived here forever. It was about understanding all those different layers and it was that thinking that I think the Mounties group brought to this amazing club that really defines it. Dale asked my dad to get a child to um, design the play area. And so I said, okay, I'll do it. It's really cool to see it up. It's not yet complete, but this is the end product for now and I think it's pretty cool. One of my concerns was I didn't have a place to entertain my grandkids, which I love. Seeing what they're doing here and having a look at the plans, I don't have to worry too much about that. There's areas where they have barbecues and they're happy with the family together. We're starting off with three restaurants. Water Dragon, Asian Pacific Fusion. Next to that, uh, Teddy Larkins, which is a steak and seafood offering. And next to that, uh, Aqua Fresca, which is a product that Giovanni Pilu has put together for us. And the outdoor forecourt where any member can come and avail themselves of any product through the venue, through an open ordering system out there. So we're looking forward to get that underway. The Diggers, as part of the Mounties Group, looks after three separate areas, three munis municipalities, mainly Fairfield, Liverpool and the Sydney Northern Beaches region. And as of last year, there were some 800 not-for-profit organisations applied for funding through them. We here at Freshwater Surf Club have been very fortunate. Over the last 20 years, we've received exactly $152,000 from them so that we're able to provide that life-saving equipment that we need and use every single day on the beach. We used to give over a million dollars to charities and to uh, local sports and like this club now is designed to go forward, make more money so we can give more back. It took us a long while to actually get the thing going but we think it, it will work. It's about the headland becoming a place again, how much it's brought the community, young and old, coming together, mateship, they're the ingredients that it's really about, not one thing's about a building. This is going to actually deliver something back to the northern beaches and the community of freshwater that, that they should have always had. This is the best thing that's ever happened to this area and to the club and the community because now when people come in here they'll be proud to walk into this club as I do and, and just accept that it's the best view in the world and, and the best club you could possibly come to.